Welcome back, everyone. Did you come here to fuck? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. My friend on his deathbed? I, I couldn't possibly do that. You did. Look around. You're in a whorehouse. In a professional capacity only. <laughs> How did I wind up here? I found you out in the fields, unconscious. The fog? Gone. Three days ago. Three days? You sure? Mm-hmm. In that time, Roach ventured deep into Kedwen on some secret mission. Managed to go off and come back. Cedric was right. The power within the Battle of Spectres restores memory. Ah. So, did you get a look at another chapter of the epic poem titled Geralt of Rivia? I remember who helped me track down the Wild Hunt. Who? Letho. Letho. Foltest's murderer. I saved his life and he knew where to find the Wild Hunt. I don't know if we rescued Yennefer. So, what happened while I was out? Loads. You drove off the fog of specters. Henselt learned of the plot against him, and Deathmold lost it completely. What did you mean when you said the Deathmolds lost it? Henselt chewed him out for not telling him about the plot. Then he chewed him out again for failing to find the plotters. Deathmold's an ambitious guy. I can see how the stress might have gotten to him. That ambitious guy has had every last suspect arrested. Now he's interrogating, torturing, and hanging them. Yeah, he always goes back to what he does best. Why has Henselt waited to attack? The Kedwini nobles and officers are holding out for privileges. They want assurances there'll be no treaty with Nilfgaard, and that they'll get land in the Pontar Valley. Henselt's agreed. Not on your life. He blew up roared and wailed and called them cowards. Thing is, he can't alienate the nobles completely. It went on for three days. Finally, he convinced part of the army, probably promised him a thing or two, and moved against Vergen. The battle's probably just getting underway. Any news on who might be behind the plot? They arrested Breitfeldt, Kirim of Kangorn, and Gunnar Bleckenhove and his entourage, but I haven't heard any details. Though I do know where to find the leader of the plotters. How come? I've always maintained that brothels are some of the best places under the sun. They're not only great places to... Yes. Get to the point, Dandelion. I overheard Whistling Wendy talking. Incidentally, don't let her nickname fool you. She's got a beautiful... Focus, Dandelion. Haven't the faintest who she was talking to. Never saw his face. But I heard him clearly. Further instructions from the boss. Today, in the hut on the cliff. Dandelion. There's one more thing. Tell me. Your pamphlet. If Deathmold finds out. Right. We need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Quick. I'm not about to leave you behind, Geralt. Adventure awaits. Kingdoms teeter. Plenty of things to write up in ballads. Damn it, Dandelion. Game's over. Can't you see that? When Deathmold finds you, you've got to go. Somewhere far from the Pontar Valley. All right. I'll do it for you. <laughs> I'll go to Oxenfurt, say hello to some of our old friends. But just as soon as this blows over, I'll come looking for you. I know. <laughs> we have unfinished business to take care of. What now, Geralt? I need to find Sheila and the Kingslayer. Then I need to get my memory back. First, I'm gonna find out who's behind this plot, though I expect I already know. Think it's Sheila? Leave, Dandelion. Hide. And I'll see you soon, old friend. Yes. Oh, really?
righty. We're actually making some pretty good progress. Go up there and down. Okay. Hello. Oh. Well, I'm telling me that she got me a case of beer from a church microbrewery. It's an old church in Pittsburgh. They were uh, they are visiting my sister. And, uh... There's a microbrewery. I guess that was... Well, a church that was converted into a microbrewery. <laughs> I think I know this place. Take a save. We must rid ourselves of that damned mage, whatever the cost. If it were that simple, you'd be Viceroy by now. Mages don't die easily, and you've nothing left to offer us. Hello. Three years ago, you promised financial assistance. We were to convey information and resist Death Mold and his supporters in most matters. Nothing's changed. But it has. Foltest and Demovin had their throats slit. Someone we know not who wanted to slaughter the unicorn. The situation's fucking tense, and Death Mold's stronger than ever. More importantly, you've nothing to offer us. The Tamarian treasury is closed to you. Hmm. Gentlemen. You forget what will happen if the king learns of our dealings. We'll not be intimidated, Roach. And remember, you speak to nobles. I've been in Kedwin for three days, traveled through nearby villages and towns, saw old friends, sounded out the mood, asked for news outright. The people of Kedwin detest Deathmold and his thugs. They await the man who would dare to wring his neck. Someone approaches. Weapons. Oh, hi. Easy there. What the swiven hell is he doing here? He woke up and walked over, if I am to guess. We didn't approve this. How did he know of our meeting? Something I'd like to know as well. Geralt? I have my ways. Unimportant. But it is. If you know, others might know. Overheard a conversation between Whistling Wendy and one of you gentlemen. <laughs> How dare you, freak? I have a wife. It's shut. It's all shot, Roach. We return to our banners to aid the king in battle. Your plot is done, dissolved, having achieved nothing. Gentlemen. How did you ever come to head a conspiracy in a Kedweni camp? It's a long story. Literally. Foltest and I devised the plan three years ago. Shortly after, Henselt burned Sabrina at the stake and appointed Deathmold his advisor. Morale among nobles and officers was low following the failed campaign. We took advantage. I bought them off, gave them political direction. I received information in exchange. What was your aim? To sow some ferment. Prevent any alliance with the Black Ones, and generally limit Death Mold's and Hensel's influence. You were gone three days. Been back at the camp? Any idea what's going on there? I haven't. But continue to get news from those... traitors. Who have they arrested? Dandelion mentioned Brightfelt, Kirim of Cainghorn, and... Not good. Kirim has been one of the plotters since the beginning. He knows me. Hmm. Maybe the interrogators have yet to start on him. Quickly, back to the camp. We need to warn Vess and the others. We've no time! Why do I expect a trap and a fight here? Alright, so we're gonna head... I'll stick with you, Roach. Roach was leading them. Quite interesting. Is this 
it's not kind of the... here, right? Yeah. Alright, what do we got? Oh boy. Red dots. Finally you're here. Ah! Quickie. Uh oh. Is OP. Jesus. Wow. Got knocked down and damn. Where's my last save game? It's probably. Before I even spoke with the people. I may end up just cutting it off here anyway. Go over to the parents' house and get my case of beer. <laughs> yeah, I think I will do that. Yep. As always, folks, thank you very much for watching, and tune in to the next episode of The Witcher 2. Thanks for watching, folks.